Hi, my name is Dr. Erin McGinty. I'm an allergist with ENT and Allergy Associates. I work out of offices in Southampton and Riverhead on the east end of Long Island. And I'm here today to talk to you about a particular food allergy that I see a lot about here on the east end. The allergy is called allergy to galactose alpha-1,3 galactose or alpha-gal. Alpha-gal allergy refers to an allergy that causes allergic reactions after ingestion of meat from mammals. It is caused by bites from the Lone Star Tick. And the east end of Long Island uh, is heavily populated with Lone Star Ticks. The interesting thing about alpha-gal allergy is that it can occur in a patient who previously never had a problem eating meat which is atypical as compared with most food allergies. The other interesting fact about alpha-gal allergy is that unlike most other food allergies, the reactions in alpha-gal patients are delayed by an average of three to six hours. The typical story of a patient with alpha-gal allergy is they give a history of having had a tick bite within a couple of weeks of their first reaction. They then eat a meal containing mammalian meat and Typically the meal is at dinner time, so the classic story is a patient who wakes up at around 1, 2 in the morning in the middle of a severe allergic reaction. Alert the allergy symptoms can range from hives to abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, difficulty breathing, and patients have even lost consciousness. The Allergy tends to be worse when the meats are higher in fat or when a patient eats more of the meat. And most of the time, once someone has contracted this allergy, it's, it's an allergy that lasts uh, and persists for the rest of their life, though it can decrease if they can avoid subsequent tick bites. So that's a little background on alpha-gal allergy. If you are concerned that you or a loved one might be suffering from this allergy, I would urge you to uh, give one of our offices a call. Thanks for watching.